if you're looking for solution to create a consistent video with consistent characters and a long format as well on your local computer then this video is for you if for some reason this news is kind of miss your attention recently was released a uh, frame pack and this is a special wrapper um, that focus on creating high resolution high quality consistent video with a 10 seconds or longer without degradation of any characters and most important it can run on a six gigabyte vram yes it can run almost on any cards with gpu with very low requirements if you're interested in how it can do this i'll put it links of course down below for you to check but in this video we're looking how you can install and how to use and some small parameters so you can modify and make its best performance on your own computer the application by itself or the model by itself can be run on automatic 11 can be run standalone or in our case we're going to look on county ui for my environment I did install clean comfy UI and if you're familiar with my previous uh, videos almost any time when I have it any new um, install I want to learn it I almost always start with a clean comfy UI install just to be sure none of other nodes or other things may conflict it with installation and for this we're using comfy UI and as well I install comfy UI manager if you don't have it experience or kind of forgot how to do this i'll put it links down below for you so you can look by yourself as well i use a central repository for the my models so they can all connect to one single place well and next after we've installed dos we want to be sure we have a frame pack installed right here is a main repository for frame pack and this is actually have a little bit explanation how it's work as well with additional nodes and most important with downloading specifically packs for the CUDA 12.6 and if you're going down we'll have it beside all explanations and links to the repositories and the repository what I was meaning it is saved answers the models the checkpoints and as well additional the SIG clips so those links down below for you and i will also showing where to place them if you have a problem located specific designation for them well even original place with a frame wrapper does not have it um pack for comfy ui but from there or from link in the description you can go to this github repository and download it um comfy ui frame wrapper here you have a couple of options you can do this one and how i done um i actually clone it to repository uh, to my locations but after clone and run requirements it still not yet work so i was actually installed through comfy ui manager it's up to you how you like to do let me show you both ways how you can do that well if you want to install um by github be sure the git is installed on your windows and i'm assuming it does if you watch my previous videos so next you're going to the directory with comfy ui install it and i'm going to 3.29 directory it's just that current installation nothing special about this but where we need to go it is in custom nodes notice in custom nodes i already have it some install it and it's because i did experiment quite a bit extensively to creating and playing with the uh, different workflows so inside here on the top with the path just click and type cmd or command prompt after this when you click it should be open for you command prompt after command prompt is installed you can go to the page with link below where it says comfy iframe or uh, frame pack wrapper so you can click and copy when you click on a code you can copy this path right here or in some cases you may have it already um, github command available for us let me see oh, we don't have it here which is okay so then we're going inside command prompt and just in custom node type git clone 
and okay where's my stuff right here and just paste this part after this depending on the speed of your computer it may take a little bit time to download after downloading you want to go ahead inside the directory where it's located it will create for you comfy ui frame wrapper and just run pip install requirement this one may take also additional time because it's not just downloading it will take time to install packs in my cases you can see it was successfully done everything and as well well i install also comfy UI manager you can do this as well at the same time so after this installation completed you want to load workflow you can find workflow on the same page if you're going inside the examples workflow and download it this one or if you install it you'll find also inside comfy UI work pack examples and you can find right here all what you need to do take this json file drop and drag on your running comfy ui assuming at this time your comfy ui already running and ready to work when you drop it you should see opening in a few cases you may have it some nodes missing red in my case the actually frame park wasn't register even i install that way so what i done end up doing i'll go inside the manager click on install missing nodes and install from here because it did showing me some nodes was not missing you can also if it still does not work you can also try to go back and reinstall it on this case custom and right here you can type just a comfy ui frame um, the name where we're going look at frame wrapper and from there you can find and reinstall it again when it's click install just click install or reinstall it so you can go either way there nicely with a new update 33.29 it is inside the manager so you can easy access this okay after i done be sure you restart your server and this kind of important because you want if you have like run some server you want to close it shut down and restart it after this it will go and re-download it some libraries so even it's downloaded it's still missing some of the models in my cases it was missing like frame park 2v and some additional however when you start running some of them will be downloading automatically so it's kind of two things one you need to install many manually and another one's script will download it and install by yourself also you can find right here in a markdown notes the model links where you can download it well let's go look where to install them hey in your case it depends where your model located in mine it's because located on separate drive um, dedicated for this and I highly recommend if you seriously want to work with uh, um, any uh, generation model on your computer just have a dedicated SSD drive and load models from there very fast very efficient I'm surprised I did not done this long time ago so inside there you can find models and you're going to diffusion models subfolder and right there you can see it's where you have it your van for videos and you have it your frame parks i downloaded different frame parks because i want to experiment with different size of models but it's where they're going your models okay next where we're going to put it in a via going inside here you can see hunai video via in some cases if you previously work already with a hunai uh, video you may already have those files so it just in case if you're missing then obviously we are going inside the VF file and clip and C clip going inside your clip vision file uh, folder. So this is locations where you can put them. If for some reason you put it and you don't see where um, it's not finding, you can also navigate to them. In my cases, sometimes when I put it inside path here, it does not find. So I need to click on the selections and find and select locations from this area and just in case if you have a subfolder inside the folder also 
some of the path you can specify inside the YAML configuration file. But this is a little bit more advanced. Assuming you download it and put it all models in right places, you're ready to work with this workflow. Original workflow will be probably selecting something like this. When you're downloading, let me change this. And you'll notice this is download frame pack model is disabled. You have a different lower model loading here. And you also have a disconnect on a torch compile settings. So this one torch will speed up. And usually you want to connect these to compile arguments on either one. One load frame pack model, it's a full pack model, which is have a little bit bigger model. But um, just small if you in if you um, using this with lower quantizations, that should work just fine. And actually, this produce quite a bit interesting results. Well, you know what? Instead of telling, let me show you those results. Okay, this is one of the example from image was downloaded, and you can see this is run for 12 seconds with a nice beam of light. It's what I specify. You can see how it's creating very nice, smooth, consistent result. Beautiful, no uh, jumping or flickering. I mean, it is performed quite a bit well. Well, another ones, if we look, this is from multiple photos. Preloaded. Okay, let's go open. Okay, and you can see right here the action animated. I did not put almost any prompt. I just set up and let them going from photo shoot. We did it for the zombies. And you can see right here, sometimes they will go and just start screaming. Okay, let me move it. Open another one right here. And I think this one. Yeah, it's when the zombies start screaming. You can see, you can definitely specify even more, but mostly look how long it was. And it is um, actually create quite a bit fast, relatively fast for 12 seconds animations. Very clean, very consistent. Okay, let's go look on another one. And this one is actually... <laughs> my wife and I and I was have a photo shoot creating but mostly what I need to do is check on consistent you can see it's work very well I did not again specify any camera move or any other um, options to this and of course we have it a little bit more playing around and this is this is example just on the low quantizations creating this it does not look like it's work a lot but you can see it's actually moving because I try to have it very static UFO kind of flying and that is work very well. So all what I did in that case, just preload it. In some cases, when I says with a beam, like right here, I try with cows. Well, I need to specify better because it did add cows. It's floating UFO, but uh, did not steal any cows. So yeah, UFO wasn't very successful on abducting my cows here. But you can see it did add them and create quite a bit nice animation. Again, 12 seconds. Very impressive how it's work. Now let's go look on some settings and how work workflow uh, flowing. <laughs> and also most important on some settings that kind of help you to create better animation. Right here we have a preload image. This is your start frame. My next workflows will work with a start and end frames. It's usually what you do and you create betweener um, and results. So we work with this as well. Maybe take this and integrating with other workflow where we can generate image, um, not directly from preloaded. The reason is why it's using preload image to minimize utilizations of the VRAM. And it did using quite like about only eight gigabyte VRAM and I have it RTX 3090 with 24. So next we can see it's a re have a basic resolution of the image. This is all kind of calculating on the image. Important for us, we have our clip preloaded right here, clip vision, which is going to encoding our image and it's converting to latent space. So before we going next, we have our dual preloaded, dual clip preloaded for um, text and from text right there you can see we have it our quantity um, counting to zero because it is 
have it positive and does not require a negative. However, frame pack simpler does require a negative input. So it's a just zero, just erase the X and have it no impact on negative in this case. Okay, it will go next. We have our preload via and notice this is using Kunai video. So this one you can try with different type of models, see which one VA will work better for you. We do have it a torch compile. If you have a torch compile properly and everything, then you can connect to your um, compile arguments. And this two, how I say they're different. One, this is a little bit lighter, other ones more complete model. And you can always just unpack like before connecting and see if it's make a difference. But I would recommend for you just start as a basic workflow, um, play with this little bit. And if you think you can car can handle more, then you can play around. By the way, right here you can see we use base precision and quantization. So you can also switch these options, see which one works better for you. And as well, we have a Deloitte by F16. You can go next FP16 or FP32, which is a little bit better have a better model, but it is will require more memory to use if you have it, if your card will allow to do this. All of this going to our sampler. And in a sampler, this is um, quite a bit interesting what we're we going to do, because if you notice we have CFG1, we'll probably just leave it alone. You can play around with this latent window space. You can change this in a comfy UI. It's actually work if you have it with different selection, maybe it uh, won't work. And also notice right here, by default, yours probably will have it like six. Set by default, I increase GPU memory preservation because I have it a little bit bigger, so I assign a little bit more to this, but you again can play with these settings, base it on your video card. And you notice right there, I have a total link, 10 seconds. Assign. You can play by default. I think it's a five seconds, and you can see how long um, your video card and work in this case. But mostly, I done ten seconds, twelve seconds, and it seems like work just fine. No problem whatsoever, and it did create very nice, consistent, good images. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next, we have it our decoder, which is going to the image size frame count and we have it our combiner here which is you can play if you like you can try it different but you can notice this is just a simple combiner and notice we don't have it any via connected just image no audio you can experiment with those as well okay and we're going with mp4 format it's just your preferences uh, by default, these options right here, save output will be disabled. So if you want save video, just turn it on. That's all. I mean, that is a very simple, very nice workflow. We don't have too much spaghetti here, um, connections. The only problem was for me, it is mostly with these models because not all of them was unloading. And on a page, they don't have clear instructions where to put them but you know now you can put in your diffusions or you can put it in um, the clip we put those ones and after this it just uh, run and it's performed very very well well hopefully you find this simple explanation is good for you let me know after you try it what kind of result you achieve and I'm seriously I'm a little bit shocked how fast and how good models they're releasing and also how low VRAM they require to produce these consistency images with this quality and that long link. Well, thank you for watching. Remember, all links down below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.